It's difficult to describe the magnitude of this fixture between Leamington and Curse Nash in this afternoon, with both sides sitting two points above the drop zone on 44 points. The stage is set for a mammoth of a six-pointer here at the Phillips 66 Community Stadium. Leamington come into this one off the back of four defeats in the last five games, the last coming on Thursday away to relegation rivals Telford United. And so Paul Holleran will be hoping for a huge three points that will drag his side further towards safety. But Curzon Ashton have their own quest for survival, coming into this one off the back of a convincing 2-0 victory over fellow strugglers against Trinity on Wednesday. With just three game weeks remaining, the stakes couldn't be higher as three points for either of these sides would go a long way to guarantee that they're playing in the National League North next season. Just a note that no one has ever been relegated from the National League North when they've marked over 45 points on the board. Leamington make one change to the side that suffered that 3-2 defeat on Thursday evening as Akbar Oben comes in for Kieran Dunbar who drops to the bench. For Kersian Ashton then, Cameron Mason starts in goal. It's Oliver Thornley, Joe Guest, Daniel Shaw and Jonathan Hunt in the back four. Matthew Reagan, James Bay, Paul Marshall and Jake Dunwoody in midfield with Ryan Brooks starting alongside top scorer Niall Cummins, who already has 15 goals to his name this season. Breaks faithful already in full voice as we're a minute and a half into this match. It's in towards Ndo, holds it up well. Good job with the floated ball in. It's well out by Daniel Shaw, his Callum Gittins. Just a slight touch to English, but as well to retain possession. It's a through ball to Matt Dodd in the ring here. He's in! And he blazes it across the face of goal. Just needed a bit more composure there, Matt Dodd, I think, in the uh, the final third. Normally a composed individual, Kobe, but not on that occasion. I think, to be fair to him, I think it's took a, a bobble, but I think it could have maybe took a bit more time, but it's early doors and hopefully he'll get another chance and he'll take it. Here's Ndo, though. Gets a shot away! And he's cleared off the line. What an opportunity for them to take an early lead. It was James Bailey back there for Curzon, and now they can counter-attack. Hood wins that header, and uh, Leamington can clear up here, but what a chance that was. A great chance. I think he couldn't have done any more, really, and I think the defenders done well there. And Dover with a great turn in the area and a scuffed shot, but Bailey just did enough to clear off the line. It's been a very open game, these opening three minutes. Goodrow of the halfway line. Thinks ball into Edwards. Jack Edwards doesn't give a defenders a moment's peace, does he? All no, game. No, yeah. It must be a nightmare to He's have. one of them where you would have liked to play against him because he's just always there. He's always doing something. He's really gangly and his arms are everywhere. Be Matthew Regan with the throw. Here's Joe Guest inside the area. Guest got away here. Tried to find the near post, but dragged his shot just wide. Again, good interplay by Curzon Ashton in the final yeah. third. They can, they can play some good football, Curzon Cunt. It's a low driven kick by Breeden, but he's, uh, he's got away with it. His mace. Clear up the line. Well cut out there by Jonathan Hunt, the captain. Joe Guest is onside here. Pursued by James Mace. He's Guest in for Curzon Ashton. He's got Cummins for company. And it's off the line by James Mace. What a clearance that was from the Leamington centre back. It was just behind Niall Cummings, to be fair to the Curzon National striker, but still heroics there from James Mace to keep the scores level. Yeah, that's big, big, big clearance. Big let off for Leamington in his opening 11 minutes at this big six pointer at the foot of the National League North table. And, uh, Junior English is scrapping with the uh, Curzon National left back. Matthew Regan, watch that space. I don't think Junior English is someone you want to scrub with. <laughs> Misreads that, here's Cummings, first time volley. It's blocked by Hood, plays it into Guest. It's well challenged by Junior English, Guest still. Here's Bailey, just over the bar. And it's deemed to be a goal kick. It was James Mason missed his clearance. Joe Guest picked up the pieces, laid off uh, James Bailey but just couldn't couldn't keep the shot down. It just seems if they want to walk in, they're not, they've had a couple of chances now where they, they could have let the shot off, but they've tried to pass it in. Zobeng. 
driving away from the cousin Ashton midfield being taken down by James Bailey and that'll be an opportunity for Leamington to make some of the set piece as you said Obey does really well to wriggle out of challenges and yeah he does find, find space where no one else he, can he's, he's got that pace where you think you're with him and then two seconds later he just flies past you so it's a pace that I'd like to have but unfortunately I didn't get gifted with what a good you then just past the right upright by Conor Goodger. It's Obeng. It's faced by Bailey. Goes down on the challenge, but nothing given. Goodger whips into the back post. Edwards wins the header. No one to capitalise on the header back across guard by Jack Edwards. found its way to uh, Marshall here for Curzon Ashton. He's Regan over the top towards Cummins. But a uh, big shout from Tony Breeden. Edwards wins that. It's come to and do. She can't get his touch in, but there's Dunbar back in. Gittins, Edwards, towards the back post towards Ahmed Obeng. So in spectaculars, going to be needed to open up this game, break the deadlock. Is Ahmed Obeng faced by Hunt? Does well to win the foul there. It's immediately played to and Doe, but Daniel Shaw's across, but Doe's got past him in. It's deemed to be a foul against. I think, I think that's very harsh. I think he's, he's done extremely well there, and the defender's very lucky to go away with that. And Doe with his grit and determination just getting past Daniel Shaw there, but the referee deemed to be a foul. Gittins up. There's Oliver Thornley. He's English. He can uh, take time to assess his options here. Dunbar. Hood up the line towards Gittins. Fix it over the head. Keeps the ball in. And Ed is blazed over by Jack Edwards. There was a flag up on the far side. Anyway. That's one of them where if you miss that, you're praying for the offside flag to come up. But great play by Callum Gittins. Oh yeah, excellent play by Callum Gittins down the right hand side. It's a good ball by Jamie Hood in the first instance. Jonathan Hunt once again, he's been a brick wall back there for Curzon Ashton, the captain. It's found its way all through to Undo. Mason came. And it's deemed to be a free kick to Curzon Ashton. Against Cameron Mace, uh, against uh, Daniel Dobek, pardon. Just living in then. All the way through is Tony Breeden. Just needed that vital touch from an Ashton player. And it's a quick distribution, but it's cut out there by Dunwoody. And uh, it's a first time ball, but James Mace would cut that out. Back to the uh, Curzon Ashton midfielder, but he slips at the vital moment, and now Gittins can come away down the left hand side. Bit isolated here, Callum Gittins. Goes inside, goes down to the challenge, nothing given by the referee. Here's Daniel Shaw for Ashton. It's a good flick there by Niall Cummins down the right hand side. He's got guests in the centre. Richard Baker arriving, Luke Clark arriving. It's in towards Baker, it's over his head. And uh, Clark will be able to run this up the field. Doe just couldn't quite tell that in his stride. And he's dispossessed. The isolated figure of Daniel and Doe. Luke Clark. Regan will clear up. So 
is Joe Guest over the top. Straight through to Tony Breeden. Mace is Obeng. She can't quite find Daniel and Doe. Canavan with a long range effort. That's exactly what I'm talking about though. He, he, he would try stuff like that and that's something we need. Just need a spark, a bit of creativity there from Liam Canavan. It's a great attempt, a great strike. Breeden up towards Dunbar. English, Dunbar down the right hand side now. Liam Canavan making his way into the box. Here's Kieran Dunbar. Finds a ball into the area. And Oben just can't direct his header on target. It's a big chance, it's a big chance that is. It's well up by uh, Daniel Shaw, here's Goodger. And there's a full-time whistle. And it's on as even here, stalemate at the Phillips 66 Community Stadium with neither side uh, able to find a winner in the final stages. It has to be said, Curtis Nash had the majority of opportunities. Leamington just couldn't find that final ball in the final third. One point apiece here in the relegation battle in the National League North. It's finished Leamington nil, Curtis and Ashton nil. So, a uh, nil nil result, probably the fairest uh, result for the both sides. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I thought. It there wasn't much in the game, was there? there was only two or three shots in the game. After playing Thursday, the heaviness of the pitch, it was it was tough, and you could see the lads had a bit of nerves in them, but they, they did well. They did come out with the point that we needed. Obviously, now going again and playing on Thursday, it must be hard to have to go back to back fixtures. Yeah, after playing Thursday, Saturday, obviously you get a bit of a break now. So by Thursday, the lads should be recovered and ready to go again. So obviously, three games left, three hard sides. What are you th what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, you've just got to turn up. We've got obviously two of the home games, so get what we can out of it and, and see, where, see where we're at the end. Going into the last game against Salford, who might potentially be winning the league with a hard challenge. Yeah, ho hopefully we're safe by then and we can enjoy the day a little bit. That's the, that's the thing, we want to get safe as soon as we can and then enjoy it.